Hey guys, so in this video I am going to show you how to make some fun colorful arm candy bracelets. You can play with so many colors for these arm candies, it just look fun, very eye popping. Okay, so what we will need for this tutorial, you're going to need some color cord. I'm using a hemp color cord. I like to use hemp better just because it's more sturdy, it's a little bit stiff and I have more control over what I'm doing. You could still use other um, yarns or a color floss if you like. Like, that would still work and look just as great. So basically what we're going to need, we're going to need to cut out a string that is about 40 inch long let's say. I mean it could be shorter but to play it safe I usually like to cut it a lot longer than what I need. So with this 40 inch string what you're going to do is fold it in half and then you're going to tie a little knot and make a loop. You want your loop to be at least a half an inch opening. Next, once you're done with that, you're going to need another string and this string needs to be a lot longer, about like 50 to 60 inches long depending on how wide your wrist is. So with this long string, what you're going to do is put it behind the double cord and you want to center the string. So now we're going to make some square knots. I have a separate tutorial on how to make square knots. If you're confused with this video, you could definitely check out that other video. I explain it more in depth. So in this video, I'm just going to explain it quickly. Basically, now that you lined up the midpoint of your long string to the double strings, what you're going to do now is, so with string A, what you want to do is make a little loop like I'm doing right now and place that string over the double strings. Now with string B, you're going to take that, you're going to place it over string A, and then you're going to tuck it under the double string, and then you're going to pull it through that loop that we made with string A. And that's basically it. Now keep doing the same thing. Put string A over on top of the double strings. And then string B will always go underneath the double strings. So remember that when you're doing this. See as I'm doing it right now? I fold string A over and then string B goes over string A but then under the double strings. Again, if you're confused and just go back and check my other tutorial, I explain it more in depth. Okay, so for somebody with a small wrist like myself, I make about 15 square knots and then I start to add in the beads. So what I usually do, and this is the way that I find it most easy, is you put in the beads first. So I usually use a beading needle just because these beads are tiny. You could use bigger beads if you like. You could just be creative, but since I have these beads sitting around, um, I might as well make use of them, right? So I'm putting in about 15 beads. And then at the bottom of each string, I just make a temporary knot so that way I can undo it afterward. So now what you're going to do is you're going to add one bead per every other square knot. So watch as I'm doing this. So my first square knot, I'm going to add a bead on each side. Then I'm going to make a square knot without the beads. All right. Now I'm going to repeat again, adding the beads. Again, my next square knot is just going to be a regular square knot without the beads. And then you do this until you run out of beads. Once you run out of the beads, make about 15 more square knots. And once you're at the end, just tie it in as a regular knot and then add a little dab of glue just to secure in the knot. Now with the two cords hanging, you could add in a button if you like or a hook closure. I'm going to add in a button since I have a plenty of buttons for my last tutorial. Add the button, tie a knot, and you're done. Enjoy your new bracelet. 